Welcome to the newest episode of Beyond the Fame with Jason Fraley. I'm your host, Jason Fraley, picking the brains of the top filmmakers, musicians, and artists of our time. Mario Lopez MCs Home for the Holidays at Westfield Montgomery in Bethesda, Maryland this Sunday. We discussed his newest Lifetime movie, Stepping Into the Holiday, which premieres the day after Thanksgiving, as well as his TV career from Saved by the Bell to Access Hollywood. Hello. Hey, Mario Lopez. Hey, thanks for joining us on WTOP in D.C. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, where where are we? Are you are you on the way to the airport? I hear you're on the way here. Or where where are we in your busy, crazy schedule? <laughs> I'm not on my way there, um, but I will be soon. Looking forward to it. Is it colder yet? I just started to like a day ago. We had a nice we've had a nice fall season. I mean, that's my favorite time of the year. I don't know about you, but it, you, you see you strike me as more of a summer guy. I am a summer guy, but I you know, it's always summer out here in L.A. So what do you do? <laughs> exactly. But actually, you've become really synonymous with sort of the holiday season, which is why we're here talking, because you're coming for a, an event called Home for the Holidays. It'll be at Westfield Montgomery. Uh, what we used to call it Montgomery Mall. Um, it's on November 20th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, what exactly are you doing? Is it like a meet and greet? I think there's like some music performances, too. Like what do we got? Yeah, that was a smooth transition, by the way. But yes, <laughs> um, I am going to be there, be hanging out and, and uh, meeting the nice people of, uh, of Maryland and just kicking off the holiday season. You know, I got a holiday movie. It's called Stepping Into the Holiday on Lifetime. That is the 25th. The day, the day after, after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm excited to ask you about that. But one more really quick about the event. Um, I know, I guess, like the Maryland Youth Ballet will be doing the Nutcracker. I think the Washington Nationals Racing Presidents will be there. There's like a string quartet playing Christmas music. And it's going to be great. And I think we're encouraging people to donate to the Children's National Medical Center, too. I think Westfield Montgomery will match those donations for up to $10,000. Wanted to get that plug in there for, for the kids and around the holidays. Good for you. All Very right. important for the kiddos. Exactly. Step up for the kids. All right, but now let's step into the holiday. You mentioned the Lifetime movie that's going to be premiering the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, proverbial Black Friday. Come home from shopping and watch him and watch uh, Mario Lopez. What's the basic premise? You play a Broadway star, sparks flying with a local dance instructor. What, what we got? Yeah, like I host a show, kind of like a Dancing with Star show. I get fired. My ex takes over, and I go back home to kind of you know lick my wounds and kind of connect with someone and uh, then I end up not wanting to leave and you have to see how it plays out. <laughs> but there's some romance and dancing and um, um, a lot of fun involved. Wife's in it, so it's a good time. Romance, dancing, Mario Lopez. What more could you want for a day after Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I'm pretty sure Lifetime also that same day is going to be doing some encore airings of, of some previous, you know, holiday movies. We got Holiday in Santa Fe that you were in. We got Feliz Navidad with with, with emphasis on the dad, <laughs> I guess. Um, exactly. I guess that was directed by Melissa Joan Hart, right? What was it? What was it like working with her as a director? And, and I guess she was in this cast, too. Well, we worked together for a long time. We go way back. She's a great director and a sweetheart and really like her. We get along really well. Yeah, what? Why is it? For, why? What has it been uh, about these holiday movies that that have really captured your attention? I mean, a it's hey hey man, I think it's smart. It's steady work. You know, Christmas comes around every year. That that's a new movie <laughs> every year. But why, why do you like the? Just is it like a heartwarming theme? You know, it's like feel good stuff. Is that why you, why you keep coming back? I like. You know, I'm a family man. I got three kids, and I'm all about kind of representing family and leaning into that brand and and uh, holiday of course represents that it's all about the family and so it just works out great and i think it makes everybody feel good and i think we can all kind of use that right now so it's just become part of my brand absolutely it's a it's a really cool part of the brand now um do you do you have i'm always curious do you have a favorite christmas movie or, or holiday movie that you're not in like is there like a classic that either you grew up with or or a newer one that that you that's sort of like your your go-to jam around the holidays when I was a kid, I, yeah, everybody loved like the Rudolph ones, the old school Frosty ones. Love Actually is probably one of the more modern take ones. It's it's a romantic, uh, great film. Then you know, of course, like uh, National Lampoon's Christmas, those are always fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. You just named some some of my favorites too. So I I, 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 grew, I grew up. I was like a Home Alone kid, of course, grow, growing up. But I, you know, I love the classics. You know, It's a Wonderful Life and Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Yeah, there, there's so many good ones. Um, all okay. right. Well, speaking of growing up watching Rudolph and, <laughs> and Frosty, I know you're born in San Diego in like '73. I want to know how did what were those like early acting gigs, auditions, and stuff that like how did you crack in? I, I remember. I think I remember seeing you like in an early episode of like the Golden Girls too. But how did you crack into the biz? 
Yeah, you know, I'm going to be approaching my 40th year, and I got into it as a kid. I just kind of fell into it. Mom put me in a bunch of stuff to keep me busy and out of trouble, and um, growing up in San Diego, only a couple hours south, it was a world of difference, but uh, still had an opportunity, and somehow I just kind of uh, started auditioning, and an agent saw me, and then once I fell into it, I fell in love with it, so that was that. Awesome. And that was that. And we all, you know, the big breakthrough that we became the household name is AC <laughs> Slater on Saved by the Bell, which started in 89. Me and just about everyone else grew up watching you on that. Um, I always wanted to know, did you invent the whole backwards chair sit thing? Or was that in the script? Was that a director's idea? I want to know who, who actually thought of that exact uh, trademark. I think I did it just messing around one time. Like That's the way I used to sit when I was a kid. And, and then they sort of just incorporated it. <laughs> so you literally had a gen multiple generations that can be like, Hey, you just AC Slater, that chair set. I mean, come on. It, you've, you've become a part of pop culture. Did you, uh, I know you probably hate when people ask you this, but do you have a favorite episode? Is it the, I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Or, or is there like an underrated one that, that people don't talk about that? You're like, Hey, that's, that's Slater's best episode. No, I mean, it's all sort of a blur. They're all kind of the same to me. I just remember like whenever we got to leave the classroom, that was fun. Worked at the beach went to Hawaii, Palm Springs. Those were always probably my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, did, did you guys, you had to have developed a little bit of a bond with all those actors behind the scenes because, you know, we all saw you on screen, but pretty, you're, you're all pretty much growing up together on set, you know, like sort of those teen years were spent with that same same bunch of folks. So, you know, talk about sort of the bond you developed with, with you know, all those castmates. And, and also the fact we lost Dustin Diamond too. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a loss. It's like when you go to school, um, in, in real life, you you, you 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 get close, you take the summers off, you come back, you see each other, you kind of pick up where you left off, and it's the same thing. And Dustin, I was always probably the closest to him, so obviously we lost him way too soon. But um, I'm glad I got to speak with him um, before um, he passed, you know, and, and um, I have nothing but fond memories. Oh, you, so you were saying Dustin was probably the one you were the closest with, Screech? Well, he was the closest to me, is what I'm saying. Oh, I got you. I got what you're saying. Um, well, yeah, that 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 shook us all up when we heard that. Um, but it, it's really cool that that the legacy of the show lives on, and those characters are sort of frozen in time, and they come back. Uh, tell me about that reboot on on Peacock. How how much of a joy was it to finally reunite with all those people? I guess this was in 2020. It was it was like pandemic viewing for people. You helped get us through uh, with some nostalgic memories. What was it like reuniting with everybody? Thanks. Um... It was fun, you know. I I still see them when we're not working, so it wasn't um, it wasn't like I hadn't seen them. But right, I was doing that and while doing Access Hollywood and my radio show and all that. So it's just been so busy. Again, the whole thing's been like a blur, just like it was when I was a kid. <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, that's a perfect way to sort of come full circle. You, you mentioned Access Hollywood. Um, we've seen you. Um, gosh, I, well, I guess first you hosted Extra from like. 2008 to 2019 and then you switched over to access hollywood from 2019 to i guess to the present um what's it uh do you, do you find that you know being a, a quote unquote celebrity yourself helps you navigate you know hosting that more than you know it's it's like an athlete that gets to do you know uh sports analysis as opposed to just a regular journalist or whatever but uh do, do you find that that your experience sort of in the showbiz world as a celeb helps you sort of navigate you know maybe the pitfalls of of things to ask or not ask or you know what i mean like does do you think it helps yeah, yeah, no, I get it. That I, that's a good analogy. Um, I mean, they're completely different skill sets. To be honest, a lot of people that are actors aren't necessarily comfortable in that situation, or don't even like to be interviewed <laughs> for that matter. But I do. I think you're either a host naturally or not, and whether it's hosting game night or barbecues in my house, I'm the same guy you get when you're hosting radio shows or TV shows, and you just got to kind of like people. And I like people, and I'm inquisitive, and so it seems to work out. Absolutely. And you meant this is actually, you know, we're talking about home for the holidays and you mentioned you're, you're a family man now with kids and everything. Uh, what has been the most rewarding part of being a family man, being a dad? You know, we, a lot of us think of Mario Lopez, you know, the, the more tabloid dating days growing. We, you grew up, we grew up watching your whole life, but now you've settled down as a dad, family man. What, what's it, what's so rewarding, uh, especially around the holidays, just doing the dad thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, busier than ever, and the kids consume me, and we're going to be doing um, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade as a family. We're in the first float, right in the Rockefeller Christmas tree the next week. So, yeah, yeah the holidays uh, um, 
our, our great time here, not uh, obviously just for friends and family, but it keeps me busy uh, with work, and uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I feel very blessed to be where I'm at um, right now, and and uh, again, looking forward to uh, uh, seeing everybody in Maryland and, uh, and 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 hanging out at the Westfield Mall. So thanks so much for for having me. Shout out to my guy Mike Esterman that lives out there. We're gonna have fun out there, and uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone, Montgomery, Westfield, Montgomery on November 20th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Meet Mario Lopez in person and then watch Stepping Into the Holiday uh, premiering on Lifetime day after Thanksgiving. But see him on the his family on the on the first float there on the Macy's parade first and then watch the Lifetime movie the next day. Hey, thanks, Mario. Appreciate it. You got it, man. Take care. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening to Beyond the Fame with Jason Fraley. Our theme music is Scott Buckley's Clarion. Remember to give us a five-star rating if you like what you hear. We'll see you next time. Explain your DNA on on 10 cases, man. You're inside the police interrogation room with the alleged Potomac River rapist. I'm not guilty on any of this stuff. So calm, so reasonable. Could this be the man who terrorized women for nine years before murdering a brilliant scientist two decades ago? Experience one of the most fascinating true crime podcasts available. Join crime reporter Paul Wagner for Unknown Subject, season three of WTOP's American Nightmare series. Search American Nightmare Podcast on all podcast platforms. I wanted to take a second to tell you about an app I really enjoy. Living in the D.C. area is great, and Podcast D.C. gathers all of the local shows that I like all in one local app. Health, sports, local news, politics, and so much more. Podcast D.C. is the new local app with hundreds of D.C. area podcasts to choose from. I can earn exciting rewards just for listening and share the podcasts I love instantly. Available in the App Store or in Google Play, listen local with Podcast D.C.